here we are discussing exponential sequence or geometrical sequence. This is the one example for 12, 36, 180. Here we can find the ratio. Ratio means 12 divided by 4. That is the 3. The next 36 divided by 12. What is the ratio? Is 3 and 108 divided by 36. The ratio is 3. Then these all ratios are same. Then this sequence is a exponential sequence. Then here in this case the formula to find nth term is equal to a r raised to n minus 1. Here a represent the first term and r represent the common ratio. Okay. That means we can substitute this value here in this formula a r raised to n minus 1. Then we can write 4 times the value of r here 3, 3 raised to n minus 1. Now for the simplification is not possible. We can write as it is. This is the second example. 1 for 16, 64. Then we can find the ratio that is 4 divided by 1, 4. Then 16 divided by 4, the ratio 4. Then 64 divided by 16, that ratio 4. That means all the ratios are same. Then this is a exponential sequence. Then nth term formula a nth term is equal to a r is to n minus 1. Here the value of a first term 1. The common ratio that is 4. We can substitute here. That is 1 times 4 raised to n minus 1. We know 1 times any number we will get the same number that means is equal to 4 raised to n minus 1. Is another example 6 36 216 and 1296 first we can find the ratio 36 divided by 6 the value is 6 and 216 divided by 36 the value is 6 and 1296 divided by 216 the value also 6 that means the ratios are same that means is a exponential sequence the nth term of exponential sequence we know the formula a r is to n minus 1 then there we can substitute the value of a here we know the value of a is 6 and that is first term 6 and the ratio that is also 6 here we know the ratio 6 that we can substitute then if we substitute we will get like this 6 times 6 raised to n minus 1 we can write 6 means we can write 6 raised to 1 that means 6 raised to 1 times 6 raised to n minus 1 then use the formula a raised to m times a raised to n is equal to a raised to m plus n that means here we can write 6 raised to 1 plus n minus 1 then here 1 and minus 1 it will cancel it becomes 0 then we can write the answer 6 raised to n then here this part we used the formula a raised to m times a raised to n is equal to a raised to n plus n that means 1 plus n minus 1 and 1 minus 1 becomes 0 that is 6 raised to n is the nth term of this sequence Thank you.